Half of it is like knowing the right people and being there at the right time and like knowing a good opportunity when you see it. Yeah, lighting and music, I mean, they go hand in hand. You're not the main attraction, but you're there to add to the experience, to help people engage with the music. I feel like I have people's emotions at my fingertips. If there's a big moment, I can accent that by bringing up the strobe to like 75 and bringing the rate like to like 100 and then just like that, 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 like slowly bringing it down and you could just like do so many different things with lighting being able to like have that kind of power is pretty cool you know what i mean music was always a huge part of my life my first concert was age 13 being there and crowd surfing and moshing and seeing that I was like, this is this is huge. Especially not knowing like what else you want to do in life. It's kind of an easy choice to be like, this is it. You know, like this is what I want to do. Like I want, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I wanna be around this. I had graduated, I was making music. Like I had done two internships, I had met everyone. I was working at a grocery store and I quit because I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's not gonna be this. Steve Lieberman, who does all of the club installs and like the biggest club installs like all over the world and festivals. I was reading an interview of his online and something that struck me was that he mentioned that skills can be taught, but attitude, right, comes from within. So like that kind of resonated with me as far as like, I don't know shit. But I was like, if I keep a good attitude and just keep going, you know, and keep saying yes, then like eventually, hopefully, like I'll be somewhere that I want to be. The worst thing that can happen during a show is like when shit doesn't work or shit goes wrong. When you're working a Diplo after party and you just started and the strobe light is stuck on and DMX isn't getting received and you don't know what's going on. Like you don't like you're running around trying to fix it. You're trying to have a cool head. You're sweating like and you're trying like not to panic. That's the worst. Chicago DJs are the best in the world. I'm so lucky to work with DJ Metro, DJ Deox, DJ Nathan Scott, DJ It's Heavy, Caution It's Heavy, DJ Mr. Shaw, Lorenzo, Nick Rockwell, all my Chicago DJs, like they become like family to me. But it's like those like iconic artists, like the Backstreet Boys. It's like, like I'll never forget this. It's like, how am I gonna tell my kids like, oh well yeah, like I did a show with the Backstreet Boys. That was that was huge. This is like a special moment. This is never gonna like happen again. And like you know that like you're lucky to like be that medium for this moment. Those are the kind of shows that like you'll never forget. Making music doesn't have to be complicated, it can be fun. Like you don't always want it to be like in the studio with like all this gear. Like if I can just like walk up and like flip a few switches on and like start making, like that's what I want to do. If it's not fun, then what are you doing? Like, so we got the OP1 field from Teenage Engineering. Nice. Uh, four track, four track, like tape recorder, synthesizer, drum machine, like standalone DAW, like coolest thing ever pretty much. Our Chariot Mini Freak, hybrid synth, acted as a MIDI controller. Um, everything's running through. The handy dandy TX6 right here is a 12 channel audio interface and a six channel stereo mixer. I don't want to spend 30 minutes like setting up and taking down. Like I want to come in and work while I'm like in the zone and then just be done with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's like have fun while you're doing it. 